A useful tip I got the other day from a sales pro is to think about a different way of framing yourself. So I'm always telling everyone to frame themselves facing front like this, you know, head and shoulders looking into the camera. But actually, if I was trying to really sell directly to you properly, you know, full on, you know, sales call, you might find that really intimidating if I'm just kind of coming at you like this through the camera. So her suggestion was that when you are doing a call like that, it might be a really good idea to sort of turn to the side like this um, so that I'm my, you know, obvious full front eye line would be that way, but I'm just going to look back at you a little bit more like that. Um, and that way, I'm probably it's a little bit less intense. I don't know. Hopefully it's a little bit less intense. Um, you know, if it's a one to one sales call and you want your client or your potential client to feel not kind of <laughs> ram raided, you know, steamrolled into into this, then this is a more gentle way potentially to, to do it. However, if you're actually doing a presentation to a lot of people, then I would always recommend doing it this way with, you know, the, the front of your face the most of your face showing um, and that way it's a little bit more powerful that you're a little bit more dare I say it, majestic that way um, and obviously because we're talking all the time that when you're presenting you have to be your best self you know yourself either on a lot of coffee or if you're like me yourself on a dry martini because that way you are bringing as much energy as much presence as you possibly can um, my children my teenagers would say oh you're being really extra and showy offy but I think you have to be that a little bit you have to slightly um, embody the American TV presenter dare I say it um, unless of course you're that kind of person in the flesh in which case I would definitely say dial down the crazy full-on um, because technology will dial a lot of it down but if you're if you're too much don't add more on um, and particularly I think in the case of your average British person we tend to be a little bit more reserved and a little bit calmer and in technology that makes us even more reserved and, and, and more calm and I think you need to be a little bit more amped up and excited when you're presenting. Um, now <laughs> the best way to make sure that you are actually hitting the right mark here is to, I know it's cringe, I know it's horrible but you should be recording yourself. Um, that way you can watch back and you can just see am I too much, am I too little, am I not energetic enough and actually I know it sounds hideous but you do get used to it fairly quickly you know I, I've done it this is my face, I gurn a lot, I do weird expressions, I kind of come too close and too far back from the camera, it doesn't matter really, it's about whether I'm bringing energy and um, engagement to my presenting, presenting, my presentations, so that, you know, people are going to listen to me and care about what I say, that's what really matters. So I would force yourself, record yourself, um, and just check how energetic you're being. And also think, as I was saying before, about framing yourself differently for the different kinds of calls that you might be doing. Good luck.